Everyone has a tongue. It's all part of being a human. But when a baby was born with a huge tongue, she was abandoned by her parents. But you seriously won't believe what she looks like now. Paisley had a rough start in life. She was born with a condition called backwife Woodman syndrome. This is a syndrome characterized by the overgrowth of various parts of the body. And with Paisley, it presented itself in her tongue. The overly large tongue meant that she was unable to make many facial expressions or even close her mouth. While she was only tiny, her tongue was the size of a fully grown adult. Fortunately, only one in around 11,000 babies are born with backwife Woodman syndrome, with many of those suffering from only a mild case. Sadly though, this wasn't the case with Paisley. Because of the baby's condition, her birth parents were horrified. The baby didn't look normal or natural, and it shattered their illusions of what a baby should be. They had originally had dreams of having a picture-perfect baby that they could show off to all their friends and post across social media, but Paisley ruined that ridiculous dream for them. So they did the unthinkable and abandoned the little girl at the hospital. They fled the building and hastily moved out of their home in order to avoid being tracked down. And so, poor, unfortunate Paisley was left scared and alone, dealing with the backwife syndrome all alone. Luckily, within several hours of being abandoned, hospital staff discovered her. They searched high and low for Paisley's parents, even involving authorities, but it was no use. The parents were gone without a trace. Paisley would have to be taken to a home. There, they would look after her and take care of her needs until someone came along to adopt her and give her the life that she deserves. However, that wasn't going to be an easy task. Would anyone ever want such a unique and beautiful girl? Or would they find their condition grotesque and unlovable? Keep watching to find out. At the children's home, the staff did their best to look after Paisley, but there seemed to be problem after problem. Her condition was causing her many health issues, and she was constantly in and out of the hospital. The most serious of these incidents was when her tongue was preventing her from breathing. This could have been a potentially life-threatening incident had medical staff not been quick to intervene. But it's safe to say that the people at the children's home were struggling to meet her needs. On top of all that, no one seemed to be willing to adopt a poor little girl. People came and went, looking for children to adopt, and they were very quick to pass over Paisley and go and find a more normal-looking baby. It seemed that most people were repulsed by the young girl's strange and unusual tongue and didn't want to have to deal with a baby with so many medical needs. This is because taking on Paisley meant more than just adopting a baby. It meant constant care, round-the-clock supervision, and constant trips to the hospital to keep an eye on the condition. It seemed that no one was willing to take a chance on the young girl, and the care home staff could totally understand why. But that didn't make things any easier for poor Paisley. Several long months passed since Paisley was brought to the care home, and despite there being close to 100 people coming to the home in hopes of adopting a child, it seemed that Paisley would never find her forever home. That is, until a kind-looking couple walked through the doors. In all honesty, they looked just like any other ordinary couple that came looking for a child to take home. They were well-dressed, polite, and very caring. But unlike all of the other couples, they didn't instantly recoil at the sight of Paisley. They held her for a long while and talked to the staff about her condition. Eventually, they put her down and carried on to see the other children. The staff thought that poor Paisley had been overlooked once again. But they were wrong. The couple did return to Paisley. They had taken pity on her, and upon hearing her sad story, they just knew that they had to adopt the baby. Life was hard enough for her to start with, without having a loving home or a mother and father. And so, just like that, Paisley was marked for adoption. They started the process, prepared their home, and began to ready their lives with their little baby girl. But would they find the backwife Woodman syndrome to be an issue? Well, as it turns out, they did not. You see, the kindly man and woman were actually quite wealthy. They had been partners in a large law firm and had retired after selling their shares in the company. This meant that they had plenty of disposable income. 
Not only did they have the room to look after a baby that would grow into a young man, but they would be able to provide her with anything that she wanted. They knew that Paisley was dealt a bad hand in life, and they were the ones that could make things better for her. And so, after a short wait, the kind and caring couple took Paisley home. The young girl seemed to settle into her surroundings fairly quickly, and the couple took to being parents like a duck to water. They had never had children before because how fast-paced and stressful their jobs were. But now that they had the time and resources to dedicate to a child, they found that they loved the experience. But they would have been lying if they said that Paisley's backwife Woodman syndrome wasn't an issue. Much like the staff at the children's home, the couple often struggled with Paisley's overly large tongue. They also realized that it would cause her issues later in life too, when she started learning how to talk and do things for herself. They loved Paisley dearly, but they wished more than anything that she was more normal. Not because they'd love her anymore, but for her own sake. They just wanted her to be happy and healthy. One day, while feeding Paisley, she started to cough and choke. It seemed that the food was getting stuck at the back of her throat, and her large tongue was stopping her from chewing and swallowing it properly. Thinking fast, her adoptive father started firmly hitting her on the back until the food flew free, and she was able to breathe again. But that was the final straw. Something had to be done to fix Paisley's backwife Woodman syndrome. But what? Well, the answer was actually quite simple, but it made a massive difference to her quality of life. They took the girl to the hospital and consulted with a doctor. Before too long, the decision was made to carry out surgery on Paisley's tongue. Surgeons would be able to reduce the size, allowing the girl to close her mouth, breathe properly, and eat without complications. It was a simple and elegant idea, and doctors were unsure why they had never thought of that idea before. Still, the surgery would be costly, as it wasn't the kind of procedure that surgeons carried out every day. Insurance would not cover something like this, and for most families, such a cost would cause them great financial stress and turmoil. But Paisley wasn't living with a normal family, was she? She was living with a wealthy and generous couple who loved the little girl more than they had ever loved anyone before. They treated Paisley like their own child, and they would do anything to ensure her health and happiness. So when they heard the cost of the surgery, they didn't hesitate to pay it. But would things work out well for Paisley? Would the surgery work and the girl be okay? Keep watching to find out how this touching tale ends. The surgeon got to work. The procedure was a surprisingly long and complicated one, and there were several hiccups along the way. While Paisley's tongue was large, her mouth was very small, and it was tricky working in such a confined space. Still, after several hours of tense work, the surgery was over. They had finally managed to reduce the size of the tongue. Once out of the surgery, Paisley's adopted parents ran to her and held her. She started to sum round, and while she was obviously in some pain and discomfort, she did something that brought a tear to their eyes. Paisley smiled. That's all they needed to see to know that she was going to be okay. Nowadays, and you wouldn't even know that Paisley had once had something wrong with her. Her tongue fit her mouth perfectly and there were no scars or anything to give away what trauma she had been through earlier on in life. Her birth parents had abandoned her and given up on her just because of how she looked. But the kind adoptive couple saw past her condition and believed in the beautiful little girl that was on the inside. And now, well, now she was a beautiful girl on the outside too. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? What would you have done if your baby was born with backwife Woodman syndrome, would you love them exactly as they were? Or would you have to walk away? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.